welcome back to my channel. So today I want to show you what's inside my son's Christmas stocking. So today I'm going to show you what's inside my son's Christmas stocking this year. And I have cleared this with Father Christmas and our elf Ernie as well and Chad. Um, they have allowed me to show you what's inside Ted's Christmas stocking. So you should feel really honored. Um, Basically, this year Ted has asked for a really big present. So we said to him, that will be your main present and you probably won't get much else apart from that. So he's okay with that. He has got a few more bits than he's actually asked for, but I wanted to show you what we brought him this year. I've done videos like this over the past couple of years and previous years to this, he's got so much stuff, but this year I don't think we've gone too mad at all and I think this is a nice amount of presents as well for him so I'm really pleased with what we bought and I'm really excited to show you so here is what's inside my son's Christmas stocking so I'll start with the presents that Ted has actually asked for this year and the first thing he asked for was this Bruder excavator um, I have no idea why he wanted one of these. He does love his vehicle still, and he does love like his trains and things as well. And he really likes these sorts of toys too. Um, and I'm sure this is one he's going to play with. I think my husband got this on Amazon. I'm not too sure how much it costs, but if I can find it, I will link it in the description box below. And it's literally just an excavator toy. So it has a movable part here, and I think this moves around as well. And it slides along on the um, things down the bottom, on the wheels down the bottom. So yes, he asked for this. As I said, I don't know how much it costs, but if I can find it, I will link it in the description box below for you. And then the next present that Ted asked for was a Zog toy. Um, we have not read the books and we haven't watched the film either, but he seems to be a bit obsessed, obsessed with Zog. Uh, I think this is because he's such a bright, colorful character and he's bright orange and Ted actually really likes the color orange as well. So I think that's probably why he's asked for one. And we also went for a walk in Thorndon as well and um, he wants it they had them on sale in there which is our local country park and we were like no because it was like 20 pounds or something so we were like well no let's see what father christmas brings you so that's when he said he wanted a zog toy so we bought him a zog toy he does love his plush cuddly toys i have to say he has two boxes full of cuddly toys upstairs so i'm hoping this little man fits in um Again, my husband bought this and I don't know how much it cost, but if I can find it, I will link it in the description box below for you. So the final toy that Ted sort of asked for was this Hexbug Spider. Um, Howard had showed Ted a video on his phone of these toys, someone playing with these toys, and Ted looked, said they look really good and he'd like these for Christmas. Um, Howard had learned about these toys from a friend at work. He had bought these for his son who's four, and his son who's four was really enjoying playing with them, and he said it's a really good toy. So uh, we thought we'd show it to Ted, and Ted looked like he was really interested in it and said he wanted them for Christmas. So we bought them. It is for ages eight to 16, so even if he gets a bit bored of it, he might like playing with these when he's older as well, I thought. Um, so basically, they're just two spiders that fight each other which sounds quite interesting to boys, I'm sure. It doesn't sound interesting to me. But yeah, they look like quite good fun and I'm sure these are gonna keep Ted entertained on Christmas day and in the future as well. So yes, and I don't know how much these cost because I think Howard ordered them. So, um, but if I can find them, I will link them in the description box below for you. So the main present that Ted wanted this year is a tablet. When he said this to my mum, she asked him if he was sick. Do you need to, do you need to see a doctor? Are you sick? And, he, and Ted went, no nanny, it's like a little computer. So yes, 
So yes, Ted asked for a tablet this year um, and this was £150 in Costco and when we bought it for him, we did say to him that this would be his main present. So this is like his big present and then we said we'll probably get you a few other bits but that will be the main present and he was fine with that. At the moment he has an iPad 1 upstairs, I know, don't tell Steve Jobs, he'll be rolling in his grave. Um, and it uh, currently only really plays videos on it so we can't really do much else so we thought that this was a really useful present as well not only can he do things like watch videos and watch the internet and use the internet but later on when he goes into juniors he'll be able to use it for his homework and things like that as well so we did actually think it was quite a good present for him as I said it was £150 from Costco and it's a tab P10 and it's by Le Lenovo, Lenovo. Um, and I think they're quite a good make. I think Howard has a Lenovo tablet upstairs and it seems to work quite well. So yes, I didn't think £150 was too bad for a tablet to be honest. I know it's a very expensive thing to buy a six year old but he did want one and that's all he really wanted, bless him. So, so yes, if I can find this product I will link it in the description box below for you. So the next presents that we've bought are some books for Ted's stocking. Um, I've never really bought him books in the past simply because he's never really been that interested in reading but over the past year his reading has improved enormously um, and I wanted to buy these books from a local bookstore as well. Um, the local bookstore actually teaches Ted on a Saturday morning so the owners, the two people that run it, the lady actually teaches Ted on a Saturday morning so she teaches him phonics and handwriting as well and his handwriting and his phonics since he's been going there have been amazing and they've done a wonderful job so I want to keep supporting them. In the new year they will be moving to a new shop hopefully. I think it's all under pl all plans of going ahead um, so they'll be moving to Crown Street. Um, the shop is called the Chicken and Frog Bookshop and I will link that in the description box below for you and if you live in the Brentwood area then please go check them out because we really appreciate them being there. So yeah, as I said, I wanted to support them this year and we've already bought books for Ted from there. Um, and this year we decided to buy um, the third one in a series that Ted, he hasn't read yet, but he's getting ready to read. He's got a lot of David Walliams books to get through first, but he wants to read these, I think, afterwards. So we bought him the third one in a series and this is The Invasion of the Living Ted. And this is by an author called Barry Hutchinson and it's illustrated by Lee Cosgrove. So it still has illustrations in it but it's a much bigger book and it's probably for about Ted's age range, maybe a bit older. But he is, as I said, getting very good at reading so fingers crossed he'll like this present. And then this year they sell some quite unusual books, some books you probably wouldn't find in the high street or in a supermarket or something. And um, at Halloween they had this book in on these shelves and it looked quite interesting. Ted looked quite interested in this book and I thought that I would get it for him for Christmas. And this is the Atlas of Monsters and Ghosts and it's... Uh, written by Federica Margreen and illustrated by Laura Brendella and it's by the people who make Lonely Planet and it's the Lonely Planet Kids as well. So it looks like quite an interesting book. So it's got an atlas and it's got all the myths of where the monsters and ghosts are in the world. Um, so yes, you learn about countries and you learn about different places and things in this book. So I thought it was quite a good book for Ted. And it's a lovely book to keep in a bedroom or in a child's bookcase or something like that. So yes, um, I did pay full price for these. So this one was 5 dollars 
and this one was $12.99 but I didn't think this was too bad for a hardback book but if I can find both of these books I will link them in the description box below for you so this year I bought Ted a few extra bits as well just to fill out his stocking basically um, and a few years ago I can't remember when it was but we went to a market day at Thames Chase which is like a local country park and they had a lady making bath bombs there so I thought to myself we might like some more of those so I went online to have a little look to see if there was anything I could find and I found these these are enjoy your bath time bath bombs they are made in China but they are all natural bath bombs um, and so you get two boxes inside the box and you get six bath bombs in each so if you wanted to give these as a little gift to somebody then I thought these would make a really nice gift they were eight pounds for the whole box so you get 12 bath bombs for eight pounds but if you gave that to someone I thought that would make a really lovely gift um, I'm going to give Ted all 12 of these so he's gonna have 12 bars I'm sure he's gonna get very excited about that and as I said these are really lovely smelling and the colors in there are so bright and beautiful so I'm sure that's gonna make bath time interesting and if I can find this product I will link it in the description box below for you so this year as a gift to the family I think I'm gonna leave this under the tree from Santa for us to open after lunch but we bought this for Ted and this is the Nintendo Labo and as I said it's a gift for Ted but it's also a gift for us as well I think we're gonna all have fun playing with this so Howard this year brought himself a switch um, which he says is his so we don't want to interfere with that but we saw this and it's um, it's a game that you play with the Nintendo Switch, but you also build stuff out of cardboard. So make it your own, um, customize. So it's got, basically, it's got cardboard uh, cutouts in here that you can make into a piano, uh, a bicycle, um, a house, a fishing rod, and then you can play the games that go along with that as well. So yes, we thought this was quite interesting and it looked quite good fun and we thought like it would be something that we'd like to play on Christmas Day as well. So we thought this one was a good one for Ted. Um, it will help him with those, whatever they're called, skills. I can't remember, but the ones where you have cutting skills and stuff like that. Um, and you can customise these toys as well so we can sit and colour them in so we thought this would be quite entertaining on Christmas Day for all of us so as I said this may not go in his stocking I might put this under the tree as a present from Santa to the whole family um, I don't know how much this cost Howard ordered it so again I'm sorry about the cost but if I can find it, I will link it in the description box below for you. And then the final two items that I've bought for Ted this year are two items that I've shown in a previous video. What's in my Hotel Chocolat box? Um, and this year, I bought Ted a Jolly Snowman for his Christmas Eve box. But I also bought him a Jolly Santa. And I've also bought him a Soft Scented wrapped up in mellow milk chocolates and these are jolly penguin chocolates um i he loves the caramel things from hotel chocolat last year i bought howard a few caramelly bits from hotel chocolat and ted really wanted to try them and ted really liked them so this year i thought i'd have a little look and see if there was anything i could buy for ted and i thought he'd really like these he loves penguins for some reason he really likes penguins i don't know why um and i thought yeah i just thought he'd really like these these were in a three for two offer at hotel chocolat so these were three for ten pounds i think and then his jolly santa which i buy him every year this is actually daddy's one and it's broken i've left his one upstairs unfortunately but you've seen it before and i will show it i'll overlay a um, video footage of it now but um but yes uh, this is a caramel jolly santa that i bought from hotel chocolat and this was in an offer as well this was so if you bought three 
at eight pounds, they came to 20 pounds. So I bought three for 10 and I bought three for 20. So I bought six items for Hotel Chocolat. And I thought that was really, that like 30 pounds on a few bits of chocolate, I thought was really quite good. So yes, again, if I can find these items, I will link them in the description box below for you. So that's what's inside my son's Christmas stocking this year. And that's it from me. Thank you so much for watching. Please feel free to give me a big thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. And please feel free to leave any comments below. And please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. See you all soon. Bye.